A jury awarded the woman who was run over by a beach patrol truck more than $2 million for the accident that left half of her face paralyzed. I mean, how do you decide what to pay somebody for pain and suffering and mental anguish? Erin Joyne says she suffered lifelong injuries when she was hit while sunbathing in Daytona Beach Shores nearly three years ago. Earlier this evening, a Volusia County jury awarded Joint $2.6 million in damages, including $2 million for pain and suffering. But we found out she may never see a penny of that. Channel 9's Stephanie Bertini is live in the newsroom. And Stephanie, state law says a payout this big has to first be approved by the state legislature. That's right. We did some digging and we looked through the law that pertains to cases like these, which include negligence. Tonight, the details in the statute means the amount joint will see after today's verdict is up in the air. In the future, $1,500,000. A multi-million dollar verdict reached after the jury deliberated for more than three hours. It came nearly three years after Erin Joint was run over by a Volusia County Beach Patrol unit. She was laying on the sand in Daytona Beach Shores with her husband and children nearby. We're very happy with the verdict. We thank the jury for their service. But Joint's attorney says there's still work to do. What about the issue of sovereign immu immunity? That's our next fight. The Florida statute protects the state, its agencies, and subdivisions from liability of a claim exceeding $200,000. The law spells out the next step for a claim or judgment exceeding that amount. It involves reporting the ruling to the legislature. That means the decision on payout will be made in Tallahassee, putting a to-be-continued stamp on this case. All along, the county has taken responsibility. The differences come down to money. Some of the evidence, I think, wasn't there to support that um, level of a verdict. But, I mean, how do you decide what to pay somebody for pain and suffering? In court, county attorneys pointed out Joint had pre-existing medical conditions. Tonight, the left side of her face is paralyzed. Her attorney says she battles constant aches and pains. Her head was injured when that county vehicle rolled over her body. The law details 200000 is the maximum amount per claim. It includes all money paid related to the incident. Now, Joint's family members were already paid out by Volusia County earlier this year in a settlement which included 134000 for her husband and 15000 for her two children. Reporting live in the newsroom, Stephanie Bertini, Channel 9 Eyewitness News.